Hey guys, welcome to the Destiny Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to discuss about the multiple offers for a QA role, which one you should choose, right? In this video, we will also discuss about the how you can properly research about the company. We will discuss about the parameters like work-life balance, salary, importance of a tech stack, brand value, right? As well as the career opportunity. And in the end, I'm going to discuss about the five important points that I think that you should know while choosing a better company, right? Whenever you have multiple offers. So I think this video is going to be a value packed where you will learn a lot about this. I am basically going to discuss with my 10 years of experience, right? How basically I have chosen, like I got like multiple offers many times and what are the different parameters that I have used, right? I'm going to discuss in this video. All right. So let's jump into the mind map now. So the parameter that we are going to discuss is the research. First of all, you have to research about the companies, different companies. So suppose you have two offers, right? So you need to research work-life balance, salary, tech stack and brand value as well as the career opportunities, right? So these are the important parameters very quickly we'll go one by one and we'll discuss uh, about that okay so research about the company so now the question is basically promote please tell me like where should i go to research about the company right i think it's very easy guys the first thing is very important uh, i can say it's like a very important for you to discuss here is the glass door I mean, in own Glassdoor, you will see like almost all the companies are already listed there and there you can basically research about the pros and cons. So as well as about the role, what kind of what kind of role, for example, if you are uh, getting hired as a SD1 software tester, automation engineer, manual tester, right? Go to the Glassdoor, search about your company and see what are the questions they have asked and discuss uh, basically research about your company. See the ratings also, right? Which is very important. Second important thing is LinkedIn. You can uh, go to the LinkedIn and basically open your company's details and see how many employees they have, what kind of review they are getting on the LinkedIn also, right? And peer review. Peer review basically means what you can do. This is what I have tried personally. You can basically discuss, for example, when I was joining uh, one of the company, right? For example, Browser Stack, right? I had a couple of friends who were working there and what I did is basically reach out to them, right? You, uh, you can reach out to them through LinkedIn or anywhere, right? And ask them, okay, how is the work culture? How is the managers? What is the team, right? Is the work life balance? it present or not those things you can do that right so re in researching your company i think peer review is very important you can talk to your manager also so before joining suppose you have two companies like a or b right i would uh, highly recommend you to talk to the manager first right and ask all the questions that you already have what kind of role i'm hired what kind of things i'm gonna do okay those things that you need to discuss first which is really really important talk to the team also and many times you get some opportunities for example in like big companies like in browser right, right we have this privilege before joining this company you can basically talk to your team about the work they are doing what they are doing what they love about what they hate about right all the things related to it so this is really important opportunity right so before accepting uh, for example you can have like one day with the team also if possible many company do that actually this is very important and big companies or uh, the companies who are open in nature they do that and this how this is helpful this is actually you are researching about the two companies for example a or b all right let's jump to the point in the glass door we have a very interesting thing which is called as compare the companies okay here if you see i have basically compared two companies for example wingify and browse tag for a similar role suppose i have and if you see we have a ratings uh, we have rating based on work-life balance rating based on the pros and cons salary and other things right so you can use this tool also so this is a very interesting tool that you can use let's jump to the second one which is the work-life balance okay i have like three points here very important three important points let me see you need to research on the glass door this is very important you know on glass door you will find many many details people basically are adding the comments like okay there is no work-life balance present here in the company or probably they will say positive or negative things read about them then make up your mind based on this okay check with the previous employees also and this is this actually work works very well what you can do is basically discuss with the people who was like a previous employee right so you can get some of the uh, information recognize the bogus culture i mean bogus culture basically means sometimes whenever for example we have you have two offers right a and b right you need to recognize the culture sometimes uh, there is a uh, hype on the glass door also right it's a great uh, company uh, it's a work life balance is there and all but when when you join that you find it very difficult to have your work life balance your manager is different right so those things you need to recognize first and how you can recognize this by doing the research on the glass door i think that's a, that is like a very important thing on the salary point of view i think this is very important right now if you have a a or b company and you have some salary difference right and selecting a high package sometimes doesn't work which I 
I think with my 10 years of experience, I'm telling you that sometimes higher package doesn't work. Know your bonuses also. I mean, this is a very important point. You have to know uh, about the bonus, stock options. Think about the potential of a company because what I have seen is, for example, I have like two choices, for example, A company or B company. This company is providing me some stock options, right? This company is not providing me any stock option, but they are providing a very high package, right? But what happens after two years, the stock options through buyback is way, way, way greater than this B company. So you need to think about from this point of view. Okay. So you need to check the potential of a company also, which is very important. And sometimes you may have a lower income dilemma and you have to make things right. Basically means many times what will happen is uh, there are two choices and you join the company, for example, A. After that, you get to know, okay, probably right now I'm working at, at a low salary right now, but you have to make things right. Okay. Uh, this is true even in the salaries sometimes higher salary doesn't work sometimes lower salary doesn't work so you have to find a right balance which is very important okay now importance of a text text why it is important is uh, when I was joining one of the company, right, I got to know about the tech stack letter. What exactly is a tech stack? Tech stack is nothing but what kind of tools these guys are using. For example, if they are using Selenium with Java or probably they are using Selenium with JavaScript, right? Then if you don't know the JavaScript, what will happen is because there is a new stack which is uh, implemented in the company, which will lead to a low performance initially for you. Okay, this happens many times with the employees. And so I would suggest check what they are working right now. If you are comfortable, then go with it. Okay. Most of the time, what I've seen personally is if I found a tech stack where I'm comfortable, I try to join that company instead of a completely new tech stack. Okay. Because that will lead to a low performance initially. Okay. Now brand value. There is, there are two important things. If it is important for you, you need to check many times. It doesn't matter which company you join. For example, there's a startup and there is a big MNC that you need to, you, you are getting with almost like same salary, suppose then you are choosing a big company because of the brand value, right? Test it out. Think about it is that brand value matters because big companies generally have more processes and you will learn a, you will not learn a lot as compared to the startup but you will not find any kind of a brand value there so it is up to you guys and many many startups don't have any kind of uh, brand value but initially afterwards but afterwards they have right for example an academy and there are a couple of other companies okay career opportunities uh, i have like one point where find where you will learn and you will have more responsibility this is like a clean choice if you have two options a or b uh, where you think that you will learn a lot and you will have more responsibility i think that's the one that you need to choose okay now let's do the quickly jump to the five points important points okay the first point is don't be desperate don't be desperate i mean don't be desperate for the packages it uh, sometimes it doesn't matter high high salary doesn't guarantee any great work so research your companies many times you become a master of one or jack of all trades right so you have to think about it do you want to become a jack of all trades or you want to master a particular art right so these two choices you need to think about it hard truth is very important thing which is life of a software tester uh, you will be searching for a great company throughout your career okay this is true and uh, you will never know which one was the great company okay sometimes you have to make things right many times what i have seen is people are have chosen some of the a company with a high package now they have to make things right okay so it's up to you and avoid micromanagement company if you think that this company is going to have a micromanagement you should avoid it create a pros and cons diagram of a companies and write it down and then make the choices as well as see the uh, in a glass door or in a LinkedIn there is a parameter which is percentage of a people who, who will recommend this job to a friend right if it is high it means the company is great okay so these are the four uh, five parameters as well as this is how you can handle the multiple offers I hope with these all the parameters you are able to make your choices okay let me reiterate in a simple way a higher salary doesn't work many times you need to find the great life balance okay learnings you need to pay uh, attention to learning brand value as well as the workplace also all right thanks a lot for watching this video guys please like and subscribe if you think this video is helpful for you guys i'll see you in the next video bye